Just shot a nice buck. But the hit wasn't very good. Yeah, she's acting like she's on this deer, dude. She is just moving. Like, but she's acting like he's alive. Am I doing this right? Here we go. Uh, I know it was hard sleeping. Dude, this is a dream, dude. I, this doesn't happen. This doesn't ever work out. A few years ago, I wanted to try and find some place close to home where I could hunt and would allow me to spend more time at home with my growing family. I'd never taken a deer in my home county and had never had a place to hunt here. Not known for its whitetail hunting, I started doing my research, sending out letters, and door knocking for any opportunity I could find. In the end, a very, very gracious landowner put his trust in me and gave me the privilege to try and do something that I had never done before in a situation I'd never been in. I spent the remainder of that season scouting the property never setting foot on the place to hunt in hopes of learning everything I could to be prepared for the next year. But little did I know, I was about to cross paths with my best buck ever. So this is the story of Southern Hospitality. As the morning conditions for this setup continued to deteriorate, I decided to move from the saddle to the ground further south in search of a more consistent wind. In a year where I was determined to find that rational place between willing to adjust and not overthinking the setup, I settled on a wet bit of pine straw within some broken cover, and it wasn't long before a few young bucks cruised by checking these crossing doe trails. A few moments later, this old piney woods bruiser appeared just off wind to the southeast. After testing his interest, a heavy snort wheeze turned this buck in my direction, seeming as if every step he took had intense purpose. In that moment, that elusive, fleeting thought suddenly was a reality that he's coming. Being mobile is a mindset and it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes you have to make the best decision you can, swallow a little pride, and even ask for some help. Even when you do things right, it can still go wrong. Sometimes those streaks, those bad decisions just seem to go on forever. However, we push forward, we endure, we keep learning and in that you find a love for the process and you chase those moments just like this. No, we didn't. We got you deer. Hold on, man. <laughs> no, no, we didn't. Yeah, we you did. serious? We really did, man. Congratulations. <laughs> <You're>, uh, <laughs> Am I doing this right? Here we go. Uh, I know it was hard sleeping. This dude doesn't look like he's had a lick of sleep in two days. <laughs> Are you serious, man? I'm dead serious. Come on, let's go take a look at him. 
The dogs are sitting on him right now. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, just straight in front of him. Go follow that pup right there. The lady's chewing him up, so. We're recording, yeah, okay. <laughs> this is awesome. What a goose chase. <laughs> well, we punched in this other little thicket and came in on this, this little grass area where the dogs were hitting. We just came in here to look one more time and we found him! Found him. We found him, Dad! Really? I got him! <laughs> I got him! Hey, we got him. I got him. He's a nice buck, Dad. He's a great, great deer. We're coming. All right, love you. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> you know how bad I wanted to make that phone call. It's awesome, man. I'm happy for you. What an experience. Dude. I'm glad to be a part of it, man. Thank you. These overwhelming single moments in time can't be bought. They can't be measured. They can only be embraced with all of its imperfections. When I remember this moment, I feel blessed, humbled, and indebted to the Creator. All made possible by a simple act of kindness and a little Southern hospitality. I, this doesn't happen. This doesn't ever work out. But it did this time. Let's get him to the truck. Let's go, man. Let's I go. gotta work tonight. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be tired, tired.